Hey everyone, it's Matthew B21688. I decided to start immediately after my last episode of Card Sharks. This is episode 17. And GSFC is currently the uh is currently a six-time champion with one hundred twenty-two thousand four hundred dollars. I have my same Scott Kiss as before, and this time Aubrey has elected to go head to head against Ben S 71287. Hey, I'm having fun this game. And slash comedy guy 08 returns. Or yeah, comedy guy 08 returns. And you both know how to play, so let's get to the game. You transfer series to toss the questions, high or low. Whoever wins two out of three gets to play for the money cards for $32,000. And let's get to the first question. The first question always goes to the champion, and this is and it's Aubrey. And Aubrey, this is a trivia question. On average, what percentage of automobiles in the U.S. are involved in a traffic accident? Oh, that's going to be a high one. Ninety percent. Aubrey says that ninety percent of automobiles in the U.S. are involved in a traffic accident. Ben, higher or lower than ninety percent? Going lower. If it is lower, Ben, you'll play your cards. Aubrey, if it is ninety or higher, you will play yours. The actual percentage of automobiles in the U.S. are involved in a traffic accident is twenty-one. It is significantly lower. Apparently so. Ben, your base card is a nine. <coughs> Trade. Wants to change the nine. When you win the card, you can do that. The nine is now a king. Lower. Lower than a king. It is a queen. Okay. Going lower? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lower than a queen. No. Oh no, another queen. Back to start. And Aubrey, you have to play this base card. You did not win the question. It is a queen. Okay, let's try lower. Lower than a king? Oh, I should say it's a king. I'm sorry. Seven. There was a king. Right. My mistake. Okay. It's time to freeze. Freezing on the seven. Putting you three cards away from game number one. But Ben, the next question goes to you. Ben, we asked 100 married women, did you tell your girlfriend a deep, dark secret about your husband and then worried yourself sick it would get back to you? Get back to him, I should say. How many of these 100 married women said, yes, they did tell their girlfriend a deep, dark secret about their husband and then worried themselves sick that it would get back to them? I'm going to sign for these women anyways. Uh-uh. Forty-three of a hundred married women said they told their girlfriend a deep, dark secret about their husband and then worried themselves sick that it would get back to him. Uh, Aubrey, higher or lower than forty-three? Go higher. Go higher. The actual number of these married women who told their girlfriend a deep, dark secret about their husband is ten. It is lower, not higher. Ben, you have that king. So, uh, Lower than a king. It is an eight. Seven plus one. Each. I'll have to say... Oh, please. Alright. Not giving Aubrey a chance at the cards. You're both three cards away from game number one. And Aubrey, the next question goes to you. <laughs> Aubrey, we asked 100 top business executives. Da, 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 da. We, would you hire an applicant even if they arrived late for an interview? How many of these 100 top business executives said they would hire an applicant even if they arrived late for an interview? 15. 1-5. 15 of 100 top business execs said they would hire an applicant even if they arrived late for an interview. Uh, ben, higher or lower than 15? Higher. Go on higher. The actual number of these top business executives would hire an applicant even if they arrive late for a meeting is 26. It is higher. All right. Ben, you have that 8. 7 plus 1. Um, trade. When you win the question, you can change the base card. The 8 is now a queen. Lower. Lower than a queen. No. Oh no, a king. Aubrey, you have that seven. You have to play it. You did not win the question. I'm going to try higher. 
Higher than a seven. It is a king! Lower than a king! Oh no! An ace! Holy Only three cards that could have beaten it. One of them had to come up. This is the fourth and final question. Someone must win on this play of the cards. And the question goes to Ben. Da, 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 dum. Here we go. Ben, we asked 100 mothers. Did you have a fight with your husband over what to name your newborn baby? How many of these hundred mothers said they did have a fight with their husband over what to name their newborn baby? Oh, Lloyd, that's a... That's a I'll probably have to go with... I'll have to say about 50... Fifty-two of a hundred mothers said they had a fight with their husbands over what to name their newborn baby. Uh, Aubrey, higher or lower than fifty-two? lower. Going lower. The actual number of these people, hundred mothers, said they had a fight with husband over what to name their newborn baby is eight. It is lower. Only eight people. Oh my! Apparently, there's no arguments there. Aubrey, here's the situation. You have a base card of a seven. Ben has a base card of a queen. You both need three cards for the first game, but you won the question, so you can change a seven, or you can play it, or you can pass it to Ben, and if he goofs, you win. If you go for it and you goof, Ben wins. Come on, Ben. You're going to pass it then? Yep. Okay. Ben, it's on your shoulders. You have the queen. You have to play it. Lower than a queen. It is a five. Higher. Higher than a five. No. Oh no, a four, and Aubrey wins game one. The pass works. Let me get a water real quick. Okay. Huh? Where's that at? I don't know. Okay. And I'm back with my water. And, uh, for, and this is round two, and and this is make or break for Ben. Aubrey, if you win it, you have won seven seven consecutive games. I think you're going to pass Corey. I think he had about six or seven before Ben dethroned him. But anyways, let's get to this next game. And first question goes to Aubrey. Aubrey, we have 100 single women. Would you date a man who said he divorced his wife but still lives with her? How many of these hundred single women said they did date a man said they did date a man who said that he's divorced but still lives with his wife? Twenty one. Twenty one of a hundred single women said they date a man who said he divorced who said he's divorced but still lives with his wife. Ben higher or lower than twenty one? Higher. Going higher. The after number of these single women who said they date a man who who said he's divorced but still lives with his wife is 28. It is higher. Ben, your base card is a queen. Welcome to hell, people, with that question. Ben, your base card's a queen. Lower than a queen. Oh no, an ace. Aubrey, you have to play this base card. It's a seven. You do not win the question. You cannot change it. What is it, a seven? Seven. Seven. Or higher. Higher than a seven? It is a ten. Three. Freezing on the ten. And the next question goes to Ben, and the game is thinking of a number between zero and a hundred. Twenty-one. Forty-one? Oh, 21. Okay. Ben says that the number between 0 and 100, he's, he's thinking it is, it's 21. 
Uh, Aubrey higher or lower than 21? Higher. Go on higher. The actual number between 0 and 100 that the game is thinking of is... 29! It is higher! Aubrey, you have that 10. Change it. When you win the question, you can change the base card. The 10 is now an 8. 7 plus 1. Higher. Higher than an 8? It is a jack. Lower than a jack. Oh no, a queen. Back to the 8. Ben, your base card is the queen. You have to play it. Uh, lower. Lower than a queen. It is a 4. Then it's a four. Four. Oh, higher. Higher than a four. No, oh four. no, another four. four. And the next question goes to Aubrey. Aubrey. Aubrey, we asked 100 top business executives. Did you have a romance with someone in your office? How many of these 100 top business executives said they did have a romance with someone in their office? They have had a romance, I should say. Uh, uh, what do we say about five of them, Ben? Two five? Five? Yeah, two five. Twenty five of a hundred top business executives said they have had, said they have had a romance with someone in their office. Uh, Ben, higher or lower than twenty five? Higher. Higher. Going higher. The after number of these peop top business executives said they had an office romance is thirty one. It is higher. Romance with someone in their office. Ben, you have that queen. Lower again. Lower than a queen. Oh no, a king. Oh my god. Aubrey, you have to play the eight. Let's go higher. Higher than an eight? Oh no, another eight. This is the fourth and final question. Someone must win on this play of the cards. And Ben, that question goes to you. Ben, we asked 100 housewives, have you cried over a TV soap opera? How many of these 100 housewives said they said that they have cried over a TV soap opera? I could say probably about 45 of them. 45? 45? Yeah. Okay, 45 of 100 housewives said they have cried over a TV soap opera. Aubrey, higher or lower than 45? Go on higher. The after number of these housewives who said they cried over a TV soap opera is 60. It is higher. And uh, we're and Corey Sena add Jay Van Diesel. And here's the situation. Aubrey, you have a base card of an eight. Seven plus one. You can play the eight or change it. You need three cards for the second game in the championship. Ben with the base card of a queen needs all four, and he needs this game to stay alive. What's it gonna be? Good luck again, Ben. Oh, he's giving it to Ben. To Ben. And Ben. It's. Oh, and he has to play the queen. He's saying lower. It is a six. Higher than a six. It is an eight. Lower. Lower than an eight. It is a nine. For the second game, lower. Yes, a seven. Ben took on the odds, and he made it work. Round three now. Only three cards to be dealt out. The first question, round three, goes to Aubrey. Aubrey, we asked 100 people. Do you personally know someone who's been accused of murder? Yes. How many of these hundred people said yes, they have personally known someone who has been accused of murder? Oh, wow. That's a tough one. That's 20. Oh, yeah. 20 of 100 people said they personally know someone who's been accused of murder. Ben, higher or lower than 20? I'll go against you, I'll stay lower. Going lower. Lower. The number of these hundred people who say they know personally know someone who knows who's been who's been accused of murder is fifteen. It is lower. 
Ben, your base card is a king. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, lower. Lower than a king. It is a five. Higher. For the championship, higher. Yes, the jack. So Aubrey is officially dethroned with six after six wins. So he'll leave with a ten, with a ten thousand dollar jackpot plus five hundred dollars. So he's actually leaving here with one hundred thirty-two thousand nine hundred dollars. Because he has that five hundred dollar bonus to him in the previous game. And here we are with the money cards with Ben S71287. And we start here at the bottom row with $200 of betting money. You bet your way across three cards. Moving to the second row, give you another $400 of betting money. Where you bet your way across another three cards. $50 of money bet. You get to the top card, the big bet, where you must risk at least half the money. Jay Van Diesel has joined us now. And and Nick, I mean, uh, Ben, rather, you have the option to change the base card one time per line. And the same card goes up. It's a push, meaning you do not win and you don't lose. Here's $200. Ben, good luck to you. We're all behind you. For two hundred dollars, Ben, you start off with a nine. Three, eight, eight. One, two, or three. Hey Matt. Yeah. Hey Matt. Yeah. Started rough, and I'm I'm glad that Ben won and everything. But and this is just for fun because I've been thrown. All I can say right now is. Thank you. Okay, Ben, you wanted to change it with one, two, or three. Three. All right, let's see if we can make a good change for the row. The nine becomes... A queen. A queen? Queen. I will probably say what... You know what? I'll lower. $200. Lower than a queen? It is a four. $400 and a four. All a bit higher. You caught yourself there. $400. Higher than a four. It's a bonus chance. You know, two chances to win the jackpot. Oh. And Robo said he accidentally left. And Ben, you, know, you still have that four. Same bet? Same bet. Okay. Trying it again. Haul of it higher. It's another bonus chance. You know, I have three chances at the jackpot. And same one? Same one. Trying it again. Higher. It is a jack. Ben, you have $800 and a jack. $800 more. Okay, I sure hope it works. $800. Lower than a jack? It is a 10. You've cleared the board on the bottom level. $4 more, you have $2,000 and a 10. Eight, number 2. Alright, let's see if we can make a good change here. The 10 becomes... A jack. All of that lower. Oh boy. $2,000. Lower than a jack. It is a five. Four thousand dollars and a five. All of it higher. Oh boy. Four thousand dollars. Higher than a five. It is an ace. Eight thousand dollars and an ace. Eight thousand lower. Come on, can't lose. Lower. It is an eight. Seven plus one. Ben, you're at the big bet. I don't know. You have that eight. Seven plus one. You have sixteen thousand. You're at the big bet. You must bet at least eight grand. Do you want that eight? Change it. See, we can make a good change here. The eight is now a nine. Ben, you must bet at least eight thousand dollars. All of it. No one. Oh, oh my, what a gamble. Did you say lower? I said lower. Okay, just to be sure I got it right. It's either 32 grand 
or nothing at all. No. Please work. 16,000. Lower than a 9. It's a bonus chance. You know, four chances at the jackpot. And... Same bet, or are you going to change it? Same bet. Come on. Come on. For $32,000, is this lower? Oh, no! A queen! Oh, Ben, I am so sorry! Oh, Ben, you only wind up with $200, but you have four chances at a... At a uh, Finding the card with a dollar sign for forty thousand dollars. There's some bad makeup for after that. Then two. two. All right. Is the dollar sign behind two? No, it isn't. You have three more chances. It's been six once. It's gonna be six again. Trying it in six. Is it behind six this time? No. It is not. Maybe two can be six. Will it be number five? Well, let's see if it's there. Is it behind five? Yes, it is! You found it, Ben! Your two hundred dollars makes it forty thousand two hundred dollars. So congratulations to Ben. He's now the new champion of forty thousand two hundred dollars, and we'll see him for the next episode.